What's up, everybody? It is a blue trake, and today I'm very excited to bring you an update on a project that both myself and a lot of you all are very interested to see more of. Welcome to new footage that was just released regarding the day before. Now, this just came out on IGN's channel. So IGN got this footage somehow. I don't know where it's coming from yet. It's still kind of going all over the place, but it looks really, really interesting. And today, we're going to be taking a look at it. Oh, brutal. <laughs> hey, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, so, I want to talk about this a little bit more. Uh, there's a bunch of things to go over in this, and there's also something that I kind of want to pre preface this video with. And that is the the accusations that this could be pre-rendered footage. Um, that you know, th there, there's a lot of suspicious things going on here. And I, I also want to talk about my channel specifically. I have a bunch of people that kind of get confused, or they make accusations that I hype up games that you know we're not sure if it's going to be real. We're not sure if it's going to be good. I want to make something clear. Just because I'm covering a game on this channel, or just because I'm saying, hey, this game is going to be a big deal or this game is going to make a big splash does not mean I'm also saying that the game is going to be good. Uh, sometimes there's going to be games that come out and they are a big deal. They are a big deal and they make a big splash, but they turn out to be awful. And I'm going to cover them either way. See, that's the thing. Whether a game is bad or good, if it has hype and everybody is focused in on it because they're curious how it's going to turn out, I'm all over it. So for instance, I think No Man's Sky is a good example. No Man's Sky came out, everybody hated it. Now it's it's actually turned around and it's a really great game who knows what the story of this game is going to be now from a surface level look this game looks amazing and i feel like that's something we can all agree on in the similar way that project ill looks amazing you know project ill it's a great concept i think a lot of people want to see that game actually come out uh, because the game looks so cool and even if it's not a completely finished game yet just the idea of it being a completely finished game has everybody so excited that it's still worth talking about it's still worth supporting now this is another thing that's going on here i feel like this project whether or not it ends up being like an amazing game, I think we can all agree this is the kind of game we want. A hardcore, beautiful third-person shooter with survival mechanics and kind of like Division-style uh, PvPvE gameplay. I'm a big believer in that. 
by the way. I really believe in PvPVE. I feel like we've gone the PvP route. You've got things like DayZ, where, you know, the only people you're ever going to fight is other people. And then you've got the PvE route, which is kind of like State of Decay, where it's only single player and, like, maybe cooperative. But I think the true thing that everybody wants to see in the future is the perfect blend of both. I think the Division kind of nailed this. The only problem with the Division is it's not a realistic survival game. It's not a tactical shooter. It's a you know, kind of, it's, it's like a weird RPG blend, and that was kind of controversial. And I understand that there's an audience for that, but it's not this. So I think that's one thing that I really think I want to I want to discuss before we talk about whether this game is even going to be controversial or not. We want to see this game happen, right? We want this game to exist. Everything we're seeing so far is like this is what we know a game should be like. Now we just have to talk about whether they're going to accomplish that. So let's get into that conversation a little bit. This is a game that I agree feels suspicious. The footage they've released, it does seem a little pre-rendered. It says it's in-game gameplay. In fact, if you see down here at the bottom, of the, at the beginning of the footage, it says in-game footage, work in progress. It definitely doesn't feel like in-game footage. There's something that just feels off. It feels like, now it might be in-engine, it might be actually inside the engine, but I feel like for a lot of studios, you can really blur the line between what's in-game and what still kind of isn't. Rainbow Six Siege, Ghost Recon, basically any Ubisoft game in the past five years has really suffered from this problem where they say it's in-game, but there's something going on. Like, they either have, like, a sequencer or, or something. In fact, this is actually something to take into consideration. Unreal Engine 4 has a feature called Sequence where you can actually go into a game and you can script and pre-render gameplay, I'm making air quotes, you can't see me, gameplay that is technically in-game, but it's still pre-rendered and it's still scripted. I'm getting that vibe from this. Now, whether they're actually doing that, I don't know. I can't remember what engine this is on. I'm not even sure if that's been announced. I think it might be... Um, I think it might be a custom engine. I'm not entirely sure. I've never heard of Mytona before. I've never heard of this studio before coming way out of left field. That is not to say that what they are doing is impossible. This game is not impossible. I think we can all agree there's been games like this before just because this studio has never been heard of before. That, that does not mean that this is, you know, a, a pipe dream. I, I still think that it is, it is possible for an indie studio to make a game like this that's come out of nowhere. We've seen it happen before, but it is rare. It is rare when that happens. That is a very rare thing. Um, and I think that that's kind of where this is going, where it does feel a little bit weird. It does feel a little bit pre-rendered. Is it actually in-game, or is it a sequenced in-game reel? We're not entirely sure. Never heard of this publisher before. But with all of that said, with all of that said, with all of that said, I still think we can come down to the core detail, which is this game looks awesome. The concept looks awesome. Please, somebody make this game. You know, if the developers of this game can't make this game, I think we can all agree we want to see this game happen somewhere. Like, this is what we want. There, I can't, I think the closest thing we have to this right now is Days Gone, which is still like a single player experience. And it's on, it's exclusive to PlayStation. So that's out. The only other thing that you could maybe say is The Division, and that's on PC, but it's on Uplay, which is lame. Um, and on top of that, it's just not a survival shooter. I can't think of anything. I guess maybe, maybe State of Decay, but even then, I mean, we all know that that's a complete, we want this. We want this game to happen real bad. I want this game to happen. So this footage looks amazing. I'm really hype. I am fairly skeptical. I do want to remind people, just because I'm talking about a game and I'm saying it's going to be a big deal, that does not mean it's going to be a big deal in a good way. <laughs> you know, like there are games that can come out and they're a big deal, but not for good reasons, you know, and 
I, I don't want to say that that's going to be this game. I actually, I am still on the fence. It looks cool. It looks dope. I think that this could be a big, this, this is going, no matter what happens, this is going to be a big deal. This is going to be a big splash. This is either going to tank harder than anything has tanked before, or it's going to come out and it's going to be what it says it is. Maybe maybe even if it's a little rough around the edges. I think that's I feel like if this happens, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna come out. It's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be some issues, but hopefully if the studio is even remotely competent, it will start out a little rough and then turn into something that's a good experience. I feel like that's our best case scenario. I don't feel like there's any way that this game's going to come out and it's going to be everything that everybody wants. Like it's there especially during a pandemic. I I don't know. There's there's too many things going against it for me to say that that will happen. If it does happen and this game comes out and it's perfect game of the year, hell yeah, dude. I'm on top of that hype train. But I feel like realistically our best case scenario is it'll come out, some people will be disappointed, it'll maybe be a little bit rough, but it'll still have that kind of like shining gem core that everybody loves and then it'll slowly evolve into a great experience. That's what I'm hoping for. Worst case scenario, all this stuff is pre-rendered and it's like a sham. But I don't, I don't know. I feel like you know people are putting their face on this game. People are now really showing you know the developers of the project. People are staking their reputation on this project. So I don't know, man. I, this is really interesting to me. Like I feel like this is almost kind of like a a, a social case study of like game development. And how this turns out is really going to be interesting. You know, do we live in a time where a completely out of nowhere studio can come out with a game that looks triple A and just blow everybody away? Is that the world that we live in? I would say maybe. <laughs> that's, the, that's the answer. The answer right now is a strong maybe. And if that turns into a yes, oh. That really changes the landscape. All right, that's it for today. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I want to know, are you excited? Are you not excited? Are you skeptical? Are you not skeptical? I feel like everybody's going to be at least a little bit skeptical. Let me know your thoughts. And then besides that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. And remember, Blue Drake loves you. Cheers, boys.